Angie from Angie's Craft Corner. How is everybody's week? How was everybody w weekend? Mine was quiet. I did try to clean up the craft room, but you can't tell it today because I've destroyed it again. Today we are going to work on a corn using oil pastels, and this is a new medium to me. Believe it or not, I got to sit Friday, and I've already used a lot of it. But I have found out they are fun to use, and they are easy to use. A lot easier than I expected, let me tell you. So with that being said, we are going to use those. And then we are using this stamp set, um, Happiest. It's, I'm calling it Happiest Birthdays to you. We are going to use this flower and we may use the dear friend or for you but we're going to start out with this and uh, I'm going to use a uh, stays on ink. Now you might can be able to use Mento ink with these. I don't know. I have not tried it. Like I said I've got these Friday and I've been playing with them but I've always used the stays on ink. So I don't, I can't tell you. And they are messy, but they are fun to use. I have done a few things with them, as in these. That I've cut out. I mean, you can make them look delicious. You can use two or three different corners. And like I said, this one may be a challenge because I ain't done this one yet. This is the only ones I've done. I've done big ones, little ones, you name it. I've played this weekend with them. So, I got these at Hobby Lobby. They was on clearance for like a dollar twenty-four in the art department. They have the fine touch. They probably ain't the best ones, but for to lawn to lawn on, they was fine for me. If you have some, don't go buy out buy more. Just use what you have. Um. Like I said, this is these was new to me. I had some years ago. I don't know what happened to them. Who knows? I've moved in all since then, but but I never did learn how to use them. And um, they do have a glossy finish to them when they are done. When you are done, but the result is wonderful. So we are going to start out with um, a pumpkin. I'm going to color the floral pumpkin and then the greens. But I'm going to use um, a blue also, a light blue with this to blend. But first of all, I'm going to use my, my pumpkin. And as you can tell, I have used it. And don't rub it. Don't rub across to get your stuff off because it will smear just a tad bit. And this may take a little bit and I may I should have started this wall before I even done anything but so if you, and at the end of this video I'm doing a giveaway on the stamp set so, stay tuned to learn how to enter. And like I said, this is just going to... It takes a little bit to do this. But, like I said, I love the results. You can't always get the results you want with markers or crayons. These is kind of like a waxy crayon. I 
I mean, I've got the pastels in uh, the soft pastels that I use at times. I ain't used them in years. May have to dig those out and play with them some more after today. But they remind me, I mean, they blend like the, well, probably not like the alcohol ones, but they blend that well. So if you've got alcohol mushrooms and you don't want to take them to crop, this is a cheap solution to, for that. And they, it's just as vibrant as that. And a lot of it, I mean, you can use uh, oiled paper with these. You don't have, you ain't limited just to white paper. Getting these little ones is a pain in the rear, though. Okay. Now, I'm going back over it just with my blue. And I'm just going to use the edge of my blue. in here this morning. And I'm not doing a perfect job by no means. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to use this little, I don't even know what this thing is called. All I know, they in the art department at Hobby Lobby. But I'm going to use this to smooth it out because I want the fine tip. This may not even be what this is used for, but it's working. You can also use a key tip if you would like. To me, this was is better because I like the fine tip. Mostly when you're doing detail stuff. Now, if I was just doing like a background, I would just use a key tip cotton ball. I just blew it because it's just getting too messy. There is a lot of YouTube videos on YouTube on how to use these. Like I said, I'm not saying I'm doing it right. I'm doing it like 
I'm doing it like I want to do it and getting the results I want. If that makes any sense. I'm going to just use a piece of scrap paper and clean my deal because it's getting too oily. And if you make a mistake, it's just on mine. I ain't figured out a way of taking it off yet. So, just be careful. And like I said, don't brush it. Blow it. Or go like this to get all the excess off. Because otherwise you're going to smear it. I promise you. I found it. Okay. And I've used this for a lot of this stuff this weekend. Okay, now I'm taking a, the lime green and just the green for the leaves. And doing just about like I did for the flower one. And this may be a long video. Long for mine. Uh oh, that was a all right. Okay, I'm just paint doing this little flare that I missed. And it happens. But as you can tell, I left the uh, ones I already used out on my desk. Just in case I needed them. Well, I don't have to try to outguess myself. Now, if you're working on something big, I think these will blend by themselves pretty easy. But doing or hard making scrapbooking, I don't think they would they blend as good as they need to because of the chunky tips. And that's the hard thing to get used to is the chunky chips to me. Because I like real fine, detailed stuff. And I guess that's why I like this little stuff. I'm going to make sure this is clean. And go back over my leaves with this. And just kind of blend 
blend it all in and get into the real sharp pieces, corners. And the good thing of it is the the more you layer with the better I mean the more it looks looks good with these. Just make sure you use the same corner family or you'll get mud. It's kind of like painting. And I am no means an on a painter. I have tried it. I've done a few. But I'm not going to say they was great. And I've got out of the lines, but it'll be okay. Now, if you wanted to get really creative, as you can tell, I'm going back to do some touch up. I didn't like. Now, you can color this in with a different corner to make it pop or you can just leave it I think I'm going to just leave it today because of time wise but on the um, this is a 5 and 1 fourth by 4 inches so and my card is 5 and a quarter by 4 and a quarter Five and a half, five and a half by four and a quarter. So on the edge, I want to bring out the uh, blue. So I'm just gonna run some of this over the blue cornstalk. I mean white cornstalk. And as you can tell, I'm not doing the whole thing because I ain't no use of it because I'm just using the, wanting the edges. And I may go back with the darker blue. Let's see. And as you can tell, it is kind of blending with this. But I don't like the roughness, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use a cotton ball. Me and my cotton balls, huh? And uh, just go in and just rub it like so. And then you have your cord base. And like I said, I mean, if you put, I mean, I can put my, my fingerprints on this. That's bad, but it's true. Okay, I'm going to use, oh, I still got a stamp. Where's my stamp set? Okay, I'm going to just put for you off of this stamp set. And 
and using my stay zone. Now, and you can tell it's messy. I mean, I've got it all over the place, but that's just me. Okay. Where is my pen? I guess I have wet this. Is this thing coming out? Ah, right, there we go. And you probably have to use art riddle glue or some pretty aggressive adhesive on this to get it to come to get it to hold because of the oil base. No, I'm not. Oh, red glue seems to hold it about it anything. I mean, I use it for everything. Okay, and notice your card for the day. To win the set, stamp set I just got through using. Well, it won't be the same set. I mean, it's the same set, but not, it's a new one. To win this set of stamp set, you'll have to, you need to comment below and subscribe to YouTube and to Facebook. So, with that being said, I'm leaving all the links down below, and um, I'll run this until the 2nd of July, so it will be running for a couple weeks. Tell your friends about it, and uh, we'll see what we can do, and good luck. I don't do too many giveaways. But today, I just feel I got an extra set somehow. I guess I ordered it by mistake. But anyways, we got, I've got an extra set and we are going to give, give it away to a, a subscriber on YouTube and on Facebook. But you have to comment below this video and subscribe to YouTube and Facebook. To be able to enter. So, with that being said, I'm 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 gonna say have a blessed day and good luck, and we'll catch y'all next time. Hugs, everybody. Have a blessed, blessed day.